Hi everyone! Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel for another how to prom episode. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to apply lashes like an effing pro. So if you want to see how to put on some lashes for prom or any day, keep on watching. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up, 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 level and it looks so pretty. But um, I want to add lashes to make it pop and look good in pictures. You guys have seen me a ton using Lily Lashes My Amy. In fact, I will probably wear my uh, Lily Lashes My Amy on prom. But I do want to see and show you guys um, using a different pair. They're still like, they're more natural and they're really flirty, which would be perfect for this look. I have never used them, so I can show you guys how to trim them. All right, guys. So I brought you guys in really close so you can see the process. So before you apply your lashes, you want to make sure that you trim them. Now, um, you kind of want to, with your fingers and or tweezers, you want to place them on your eye, on the correct eye, because sometimes, like these ones, the right side is the left eye, which is kind of confusing, but they more normally like flare to the outside. Um, but I was thinking I didn't have to trim them, but I'll just trim them a little bit. Um, and you know if, to trim them if they come out, um, when you place them on, um, with no glue and they kind of come out longer than this side, like you just want to make sure they fit perfectly and you don't want them to go too in, have the inner part go in more like in, um, cause it's going to irritate your eye and it's going to come off cause you're blinking. If you put it a little bit away from your eye, um, it won't, the lash won't come off. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit and how you want to trim them is um, only by the outer side. You never really want to trim from um, the inner parts of a lash. Where you want to trim bit by bit, you want to, you don't want to cut like this, like cutting to the band. You want to cut from the band because it won't F up the lashes. Hope you guys can see. I have, oh yeah, and small scissors will help. And I'm just going a little bit. And then if you put it on your eye, you should see that it should fit perfectly. See like that? When I apply them, they'll be really nice and like they won't go too in. So yeah, I'll do the same to the other lash and then we'll get into applying them. All right, guys. So I cut, now after you cut the lashes, you want to prep your eyes for application. So I have this little pouch where my eye stuff is. First, so the lashes go on really easily, um, you want to curl your lashes. Curling your lashes is just going to help them, um, their lashes go right on and already have that curled. You're like curling them to the band because the band's kind of curled. But curling your lashes is just going to help the band go on easier. And you could buy any tweezers. I really like these, um, this e.l.f. one. Only like three bucks. You want to be careful and go like... Um, you kind of want to go behind the lashes and then trap them into the machine, to the tweezers. And it kind of just, you can either press or you can like hold it for a few seconds. I like to kind of press and hold. And so like that, it will really curl the lashes. And you especially want to get the outer corner because if they're not all curled, um, the lash is going to get stuck. Because you're putting them up so the lashes go and they don't get stuck. There we go. I'm going straight from the bot, like, um, the, uh, like going straight to the lash root. So then, um, the next step after you've curled your lashes is going to be dun, 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 mascara. Mascara is going to darken your lashes so it's easy for the lash band to blend in with your natural lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar one. It's really nice, but I don't like the primer side, but using it without the primer is really nice. It's still really good. Um, but it links, lengthens, la lengthens the lashes and also separates them really nice. But um, 
this can kind of get clumpy at times, so you just don't want to apply too much. And uh, always with mascaras, if you have a lot of on there, the wand, just kind of remove that. And on prom, you don't have to wear lashes. Like, look at that. This already looks so good, but lashes are just going to intensify a look, and I really like the look of lashes. Oh, but I'm so thankful uh, my friend Jules gave me the Sephora lashes. I'm going from the root and kind of wiggling it, and also like going straight up. Because you want the whole lash from the bottom to the top to be nice and like black. Because if it looks, if there's no mascara in a part and it looks gray, it's going to show in pictures and it's, um, at least close up pictures. And it's not going to look like the lash band is your actual lashes. My natural lashes are ready to apply our fake lashes. You want to get a really good lash glue that'll help your lashes stay on all day. Um, and I use the Duo, it's really dirty, but it's the Duo Brush On Adhesive um, with vitamins. So it's going to um, kind of like not just strip it, just have some vitamins. I used the House of Lashes glue. It wasn't bad, but I tried the black one and that just got all over the, all over the place. I didn't really feel it dry fast. This dries fast. And if I need to touch up my lashes, they're really e this glue is really easy to touch them up with. But once you have your lash glue, um, I like to start one eye at a time, not putting glue on um, both the lashes at the same time. I'm going to start with my left side. If you can't get it with your fingers, use tweezers. Speaking of tweezers, you want to make sure you have the perfect tweezer because if you get like the standard one, it's a bit shorter than this. That one's just going to be harder to apply, I found, because it's like smaller and these are like... These are slanted. These are the Equate Beauty, so like the generic Equate Beauty um, tweezers. They're long and they're dense. Like you press them on, it's not like with regular tweezers, like there's a slip kind of. Like these, I'll show you guys, like these have changed my lash game because with this, they just plop right down. So make sure you get like a dense uh, tweezer and the one long enough so it'll just plop it right on there. When applying the lash glue, you don't want to apply, of course, a lot of glue, but I do like to make sure I have a generous amount and I kind of take the excess off. Carefully on the band, you just, I kind of start, put the most on the outer and inner parts of the lash. Like that. You guys can see, okay? And then I just fill in the gaps and you don't want too little amount of glue and you don't want too much so right in the middle and then i've never used these on my lashes so with newer lashes um you kind of want to so they plop down easier you kind of want to let them dry this is like a first coat um and then you apply a second coat so the adhesive stronger since they're new lashes um and also I, once the glue is on they're kind of like to wiggle um the lash um, cause it kind of gives it its shape, its curl, and, um, it's not just, like, flat. They're kind of just working it back and forth, wiggling it, and then kind of letting it dry. You can also use your warm breath. Fan it. It's getting a bit more drier, so put on just a little bit more. And this is the clear one from Duo. So it's not gonna leave, like, it's not the blue, um, that it shows. If you could kind of say it has a blue, it'll go away. And then with the tweezers... You kind of have to figure it out, but I kind of like grab it from the middle. Or I actually like to go this way. So taking it from the bottom and sliding it under so you can really grip it on. And then I really press on with the tweezers. So, I'm so excited. So the lash, you want to make sure it's kind of like this. And you want to look down into a mirror. And then you kind of want to make sure the lash is on the outer corner. And you want to slide it down until it's right at the bottom of your eyelid, at the roots of your eyelid. And then move it along as you need to, making sure it's right there. And see with this tweezer, it just plops the lash down. But to make sure they look like your actual lashes, you wanna make sure they're all the way down on the root. Because if you go too far up with your lashes, you're going to be able to see the visible difference. Oh, these are cute. I'm kind of pressing along, 
pushing it with a tweezer. And you can kind of take the lash and push it. Ooh, in a corner usually is a hard spot, but it's going on really good. The lashes are nice and on. They're really natural, but they like show off the look still. That's cute. Voila, we have our lash. Now time for the other side. When my other side um, of lashes are drying, um, be careful that you want to be careful applying your glue so that it doesn't get in the lashes because if it gets in the lashes, it'll just ruin it. Also, if you guys want to know, these uh, Sephora lashes I have on um, are fringe number four. I'm just applying the lash once again. And I kind of press on the middle part and outer part first. Just make sure the lash is on there. And I go in with the inner corner. And you just want to take your time. You can also hold down the lash for like a few seconds. Oh my god. Many review, they feel like nothing on my eyes. And they're so pretty. They go like from like a inward, like small kind of separated lash to a more like flirty outside. And I'm digging them. Alright guys, we have the lashes on. So... Oh, off camera, I did have to apply just a little bit of lash glue on this side. Um, and don't be afraid to do that as long as you're careful. Alright, so this is the finished look with the lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this, like, really quick, like, how to prom lash tutorial. You can wear any lash, and following these steps, it's gonna help the lash just go on so good. What has really helped me is the tweezers, like. let me know if you follow the tutorial down below and comment what look you want to see yes next if you want to see blue purple a more like red let me know subscribe to my channel if you like this video if you like me and not only do uh should you subscribe but if you guys want to spread the word of my channel those who love makeup or think would really like my channel please let them know to subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much. My Instagram is RachelCoxMeWay as well as my Twitter. And I'll link them down below as well. Have a good day, guys. Bye.